Okay, this is a movie with that includes a little bit of uh, Windows as well. I'm going to use Vista. I uh, no longer have XP, but it's substantially similar in XP, except for the fact that it doesn't have indexed search, which I think is a great feature. And by itself justifies Vista. However, what we're going to do now is look at uh, how to, a quick way to uh, find files on, a, uh, on both machines. I like to use uh, the index search feature, like I said, on a Mac. It's called Spotlight. It's right here. Just click up here to get it. And I already typed in Apple. And I want to show you some. We'll go over a few screenshots here. And this is the uh, Finder window. Finder is also on the dock. It's the one thing you can't remove. So if you want a window, you just click on the Finder, the, uh, finder window and it comes up for you. And some options to go through documents is are up here. Here's Tiles. Here's the list, which I'm sure we're all familiar with. And then here's the three columns that shows you where all this stuff is coming from. And then my personal favorite for reviewing documents is Cover Flow. Well, this is just like in iTunes, and you can just go through and look at your documents. Now, on a Mac, what you can do for a preview is simply press the space bar, and it pops up. It's great for um, reviewing um, text files. We'll find one of those really fast. Let's go here. Here's a case. We click that out. Put the, press the space bar to pop it out we can go right through and look at what happened when this oh that's the right file and open it up it's a very powerful um, there's a very there are very powerful um, preview features on a Mac I think this is one of the one of the reasons why I say a Mac is great for law office because it really allows us to really look at um, what's going on as opposed to this view which is probably what we're, most of us are used to uh, this is this is much easier you get to look at the actual thing and then you can and then you can pop out the preview just by clicking the uh, space bar. And you can even resize it and go through it like that. So that's in the uh, in a finder window. Once again, you just close it out. And then you, if you want a new one, you just click on the finder, and there you go. And then it shows you it shows you where your stuff is. You can toggle through the different different views. All right, on a, on a um, PC have going right here it's called it's not the finder it's it's called Windows Explorer it actually is an application and to find it on on Vista the easiest way to do it is just click on this button here and type in Windows start typing Windows and then you see it shuffles the the, the results go down to Explorer now what you might want to do is cl right click on this and add it to um, the quick launch menu which puts it down on the taskbar. You see, I, I've already done that. There it is. I have it there twice now. Would so you have easy access to it. So you click on that to open that up, and then you look at. You can look at files this way. Go to the downloads folder. Well, here are the screenshots we did before. Here are the Apple screenshots. It's a for views in this one in uh, on a on a PC. They're not quite as good. This is typically what you'll find with between Macs and PCs is that um, Vista uh, Microsoft really hasn't done a nearly as good a job as Apple has. But you can change a little bit about them, and you can click the preview, and you get the preview over here. This is about as good as it gets um, with respect to uh, previewing things in Vista and I don't even think it gets this good in XP but that's about it either way it's a great way to um, get through your files and and get get it. it also gives you a kind of idea of what the folder structure of your computer looks like and gets you used to getting stuff that way as opposed to just opening up a application like um, Word and clicking open inside of Word and opening, your, opening up your Word document. This is another way to do it. Of course, if you open a Word document from any other window, it'll simply invoke Word to contain the uh, particular file. So that is, that is Finder and Windows Explorer. Really quickly, I'm sure I'll come back to these two because they're very important uh, little features. Thanks for watching.